The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and I will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord it's been almost two and a half months since the news of Tom's sudden death rippled and ripped through the hearts of those who knew and loved him. It's still hard to believe his presence feels so vivid. I spoke with him the Sunday before he flew to California and maybe a month before that, he stopped in the parking lot as I was going for a walk and pulled over and we talked for a few minutes before he headed on. That was Tom's way. He showed up at parties, at meetings. He would show up after church services, offering to lead the choir in prayers. And Andrew said when he couldn't show up at choir rehearsal, he always emailed ahead of time and let him know. And when Tom showed up, he listened, and he laughed, and he offered to help, and he asked good questions. He was kind to strangers, and he loved his family and his friends, and this church so very much. When Tom showed up, he was present, which was a gift to all of us. In the gospel, we just heard Jesus was talking to his disciples, and he tells them that he has to go so that we so that where he is they may come also to a house that's big with lots of rooms for everyone jesus tells them do not let your hearts be troubled and then thomas the disciple jumps in to ask a question he speaks up and he engages jesus he shows jesus that he's been listening and he asks what everybody else in the room is thinking. Lord, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? Where is this big house? Why are you leaving us? Why now? And how will we go on without you? Jesus said, I am the way. Jesus showed us the way by being the way. The divine logos who became flesh and pitched a tent and lived among us. Jesus was and is present among us in the life he lived, his faith in God, and his promise that we will be with him in heaven. Ernie Sholkoff, a fellow member of the choir, sent me an email reminding me of Tom's Lenten devotion from March 26th of this year. Tom only wrote a couple of short paragraphs but then he included the full lyrics of hymn 526 with words by Charles Wesley sung to the hymn tune Dundee, named for the city in his beloved Scotland. The tune is by another Tom, Thomas Ravencroft. Let saints on earth in concert sing with those whose work is done. For all the servants of our King in heaven and earth are one one family we dwell in him one church above beneath though now divided by the stream the narrow stream of death tom is on the other side of that narrow stream now laughing with the angels and dancing with the saints the twinkling spirit in his eye now shining forth god's light yet still part of our one family in Christ. Tom left suddenly, and there's so much that he did, but when a life is cut short, there is always much left undone. 
yet he showed us a way, aiming to live out Christ's way by showing up, by stopping to say hi, by welcoming the stranger, by asking a question and letting us know that he was listening, by offering to lead prayers, by striving to bind up the brokenhearted, by showing his humility and his own vulnerability, by putting his family as his top priority, his parents, siblings, sons, grandchildren, and his beloved wife, until we join Tom on the other side of the river, may we continue to walk in the way that Tom showed us, in the way of Christ, who lived among us, who died for our brokenness, who rose again and ascended into heaven to welcome us into the unconditional embrace of God's unending love.